good day. Okay, many people have asked me um, how to collect seeds from different plants. This is a broccoli plant. It's about four years old. It's been in the other videos, but it gets all big and green leafy and we eat from it all, all winter long. So, okay, so let's get to it. You have your broccoli, right? But these are flowers. So they turn from this into like longer, hold on, let me move these, longer stemmed things. They have flowers and the flowers will grow up to the top of the stem. So there's more flowers, but anyway, so you'll get a, I'm trying to look for one that's gonna, here, this one. So the flowers grow on it and the production cycle goes from bottom to top. So you'll have your little flowers and your bees because they go together and the flowers will fall off their little stems. And then all you'll have is this. Okay. So this is where the seeds are. Um, it gets fat. I'm trying to see if, oh, here we go. They, these ones are a little bit more advanced. Move, please, thank you. They get fat, big, long fat, right? And they'll get bigger than this, but the seeds are growing in a row inside the stem, like little pea pods. So when the stem gets real big, and that you can kind of see this one has some, something's forming in there, right? So those are the seeds. And you know that it's ready when you walk out one day and the stems are brown and they're cracking open um, and little, the little seeds will be falling out. So that's where you get your seeds from. Uh, you could do it the same way with bok choy. The same thing happens with kale. Um, what else? There's many plants that do it this way. Um, and uh, for lettuce, the, the the seeds will be in the in the flower. Um, but the flower turns white and puffy, like a what are they called? Sorry, it's early in the morning. But that's pretty cool. Um, a dandelion, like a dandelion. So they'll turn puffy and that's where the seeds are. So it's just, um, yeah, broccoli is the flowers. And it's cool because the more, this one's several years old and the more you, the longer you have them, the more shoots you end up getting. And then, so like last year, I just cut off all the seed pods. I didn't collect any um, and I chopped the plant down. So like this year it was probably three feet tall and two and a half feet across in some places and four feet in other places, but it's just one broccoli plant. But that's how you do it. And just make sure you water it nicely. Um, so you get to water them really heavily a couple times a week if they need it, if they're, if they're in a place, you know, without a lot of mulch. There's the new potato barrel in there. I'm going to see if I can get some potatoes out of that this year. Potatoes for me are a waste of time to grow because they're so cheap. But the grapes are doing fantastic. That makes me sad, but at some point I'm going to have to take this and chop like right here. They haven't flowered yet. I'm waiting. Anyway, that's how you get seeds. Um, this is all new garden bed stuff that I'll be doing things with later. Uh, many people love the artichoke plant. So, but that's cool too. They, they grow out of the little stems. See, and the little bugs are starting to come. That's how you know that the season for this is ending. Uh, it dies back all the way down to the roots during the summertime when it's hot. Look at probably 15 artichokes so far and more growing. Every day I find more. Oh, that wasn't there yesterday.
they grow out of the in between of the of the leaf stalks. So make sure you have lots of leaf stalks. It helps. Okay, so that's as far as I need to go. I think um, I'll do some more videos. I extended the chicken coop. Um, I planted some seeds. The Corona thing has all kinds of stuff on lockdown. I'm still shipping soap, so if you haven't looked yet um, and you don't follow me too much, go to soapharvest.com. Uh, that's where my website is. I'm gonna put some seeds up there and I think I'm gonna put these broccoli seeds um, when I'm done harvesting. I'll put them up there and then you guys can um, buy them and I'll send them in little baggies for you. So yeah, and there's many seeds, but the the more broccoli heads you can get, so I cut it often, just random places. And like there'll be a broccoli stalk growing and I'll chop the top of that off and then two more will grow. So I have a lot of that going on in here. Um, two or four grow actually on the part that's left behind. So yeah. There are many opportunities. All of the broccoli turns into flowers and all of the flowers turn into seeds. So we'll see. I'll do another video later when I harvest some of it for you, just so you get an idea. Thank you for watching. I appreciate it.